We have another little job to do today and that's going to be replacing the innards on the uh, hot side of the tap um, got a problem the shaft furs up on them and they end up so you can't actually turn it on fully uh, and that's the problem with this one so it's going to sound a little bit echoey in here because obviously I'm in the bathroom so we'll see how we go so my house is actually, they're all gravity fed pipes. <clears throat> the cold water runs on gravity feed as well for the bathroom. The only one we've got mains feed uh, is in the kitchen. So that being said, what we've got to do first is, is shut the water off, which I've already done um, to the header tank and drain the water. Now the best way of doing that is to drain the header tank because you're then draining cold water and not hot water. We're going to have to drain a little bit of hot water, but hopefully we can save most of it. So you don't really need to see a tap being run, so I'll, I'll do that and then uh, be back in a moment. Okay, so we're getting to the last dribs of water coming out now. Um, no more hot water coming out. Just a little dribble out of the cold. So as soon as that's finished, we'll just crack on with the job. Um, I, I just had a look which part we're, we're changing, they call them a gland. Um, it's the tap in the inside. But the official name is gland, just so you know. So this is the actual part. Um, you can see. I don't know if you can get that in focus properly. Um, but that's what we're going to be changing. Um, Luckily on the, this particular tap, these are the same size as the sink taps. Um, you can get some that are bigger. So that's what we're going to change. And the first job we've got to do is remove this little end piece. I don't know if you can see that properly, let's tip that up. There we go, see this, this piece here. This is the first piece we've got to remove. Because we've got to get to a little wash, uh, little screw in there which holds the the knob for the tap on so got to get that off okay um, sometimes these can be a little bit of a pig to get off so we'll, we'll try it with a pair of pliers first and we'll see if we can get it off with that yep that's come off so we unscrew that and now can we see the little screw in there see the screw got to take that screw off um, and then we can take this piece out so we've got a little uh, screwdriver i'm going to use my my trusty leatherman Try it as it is for you to see that with my hand in the way. Take the screw out. If you just pull the tap, the uh, the knob off at the same time, it keeps the screw in there, stops you dropping it. We'll put that to one side for a moment. Now we need to take off this piece. Now these the various different sorts on these um, 
some of them just clip off some of them screw off I believe this one screws off so we'll try and get that off now okay these can be a little bit tight um, sometimes you have to get a spanner on these uh, something along the lines of one of those and what you do is you wrap it with a towel or a piece of toweling or something to try uh, to protect the chrome on there before you put that over the top um, otherwise you'd, you'd just chew your chrome up and you'd be very very gentle luckily this one will turn without there we go and now we can see the body of the flange so next thing we get an adjustable spanner we get that onto there a oh, little bit of gentle pressure and we unscrew it These are actually the original ones um, that came with the tap and I've had that tap on there 10-15 years something like that so it's done well okay we'll give that a little bit of a clean up before we put the new one in and we'll check the seat tap and see whether that needs um, reseating okay before I do too much I just want to get a light in there um, and have a look yeah it doesn't look too bad I think I will give it a little bit of a clean though um, I don't know can you see that in there Isn't this not too bad? Not bad at all. Okay. So first off, we're gonna I'll clean the front part of it. Um, a little bit of wire wall. No, you don't want to go too far with this. Um, Especially with these chrome taps, you don't want to be wire walling on chrome. Doesn't do it any good whatsoever. We'll give that a clean. That's it nice and clean there and I will just use a cloth um, these are cheap um, microfiber cloths from Costco's and I've got hundreds of them oh just get that a quick wipe in there and there we go now um, don't really need to do this because it's not that bad but I'm going to uh, just do it so you can see we've got a reseating tool um, that's, that's a reseating tool basically what it does it's got a cutter on the end here we screw this into the head into the body of the tap and then we use this to work backwards and forwards and recut the seat so it just goes in there like so and it needs to be finger tight and then we push that in just give it a turn backwards and forwards and so this doesn't need much 
doesn't really need doing at all but I'm doing it just so you can see if you was just changing the washer on the tap um, doing that sometimes helps so you don't get a dripping tap so we'll have another little look in there Too bad at all. Give it a wipe out, get rid of any of the little gritty bits that I've left in there. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. So now it's just a case of getting the new flange and screwing it in so we'll take the little screw out because we're getting a, a new screw over the cap with it and use my Leatherman to one side okay so that's now finger tight and all we want to do using the spanner we give it another possibly a quarter to half a turn well depending on whether whether it's as tight as we think it is it's one of the things you need to feel you don't want to over tighten it because you can do you can do lots of damage and you can damage your seals you can actually crack your tap yeah that's going to need more than that and what it's done at the moment it's just hooked up on the seal so we need to just turn that in If we use the spanner that way around, like that, and then just use the head of the spanner um, when you're tightening it, that stops you putting too much force on it. We can then go to the other side, like so, and keeping your hand still down this end. You don't don't want to come up here. Um, you don't want that amount of leverage. You just give it a little nip. There we go. And that's about as tight as it needs to be. So now it's just a case of putting all this back on the front. So we, again, we start with the cover. And catch it off with that clean before we uh, put that on there. It's easier to get to and of course we've got no water to clean it with <laughs> uh, classic all I'm doing is using the magic sponge um, they are an abrasive but they're very very fine should be fine on the chrome there we go nice and clean okay so now we'll just screw that back on there Um, and now we get the head of the tap, the knob of the tap, place that on. You do need to be careful sometimes because these, uh, they have different number of teeth on these. Um, this one's a perfect fit, it's the same number of teeth. Screw it up. Okay, you don't need to do it up too tight. 
just as long as it's tight enough to keep it there. And again, we put a little end cap on. And that's the job done. Right, we'll just fill up with the, uh, fill the tanks back up with water and uh, give it a try. Okay, so the tank is nearly full, um, certainly full enough for me to test this tap. So, oh, we just turn the tap on. Yeah, that's running fine. A lot better flow than I was getting from it. And turn it off. Again, don't over tighten your taps when you're turning them off because all, all it does is damage the washers. So just turn it off until it stops. You don't need to really sort of lever on them. And that's it. Job done. Well, that's another job jobbed, as they say. Um, very very quick and simple job. Um, nothing difficult in that at all. Anybody could do it. As long as you take your time, don't go mad. Don't put loads and loads of faults on. Um, do things nice and steady and gentle. You can do pr practically anything. Um, and if, if my videos encourage you to have a go, then all the good. All the good. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.